What's a very different and unique way so that you can win your brawls in Bakugan? Got a very quick and thoughtful tip for you right here. Many of the Bakugan that arrived on Earth are of different types, and those types come in various shapes and sizes. So who's to say that the Bakugan we brawl with in real life are any different? Today, I'm going to show how the weight of certain combinations you can make with your Bakugan can give you the edge in battle. Let's do a little experiment. Say we have one of these awfully helpful starter packs in hand. These are especially nice since they give you a grand total of three Bakugan, one of which with its own special attack. Aside from the cool looking variants you may get like this special attack black and purple dragonoid or the titanium hammerhead, you also get several options right out of the gate to choose from as far as combinations of Bakugan to roll out into the field are concerned. However, this being the new Bakugan, we have a special attack ring that we can kind of mix and match with different Bakugan. For the sake of time, I'm going to experiment with just a handful of options. First, I'm really feeling the look of this dragonoid, so I'm going to try him out with Hammerhead's titanium piece. Being that this particular piece doesn't really work with the special attack ring, he has to be rolled out as opposed to being ripcorded out and subsequently spun out. So yeah, as you can see, rolling onto the field and standing is a little slow for Drago. It seems Drago really is one of the heavyweights of the Misfit clan, quite literally. Let's make sure by now taking the neutral piece that came from Butterclaw, who also came in the starter set. Uh, yeah, yeah, it seems like it's the similar case, though very quick to stand on the battle card this time, so I'll give it that. It looks like some of the heavy hitters of the Bakugan world will slow down your roll onto the battlefield, so do keep this in mind. So if our theories are correct, that should mean, actually, less theorizing and more brawling, this time with a special attack ring and gold evolution piece attached to Hammerhead. Let's give it a spin. Yeah, 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 you see what I did there? Okay, yeah, never mind. Anyways, let's get brawling. Okay, okay, not bad. Definitely a lot faster at spinning than Drago was rolling out. But I won't be certain until I get the unlikelier of the set, Butterclaw, out here and riz him up with this special attack and gold evolution pieces. I promise I will do my best to not say riz for the rest of this video. Can't really promise that for the next one. Okay, strong centripetal force and quick to stand on the gate. That can be real useful to beat your opponent to the punch in securing whatever bam he lands on and or securing the victory if the opposing Bakugan doesn't stand at all. These scenarios can happen and only the strongest brawlers will go in prepared with them in mind. Weigh your options and consider using different combinations and the lay of the battle arena to your advantage. And if you think there's a lot of potential for the combinations with just this three pack of Bakugan you get in the starter set, just think of what you can do with one of these battle packs carrying five Bakugan, two of which have their own special attack rings. That's a lot to uh, weigh down, but can you do it? That about does it for now, but if you want to check out other strategy videos to win at Bakugan Brawling, along with other clips and tips and insight scoops on the new iteration of Bakugan, be sure to check out the other videos on the channel and hit the subscribe button. Until next time, Bakugan Brawl!